Today, X-Play's Holiday Buyer's Guide takes on the PS3 and the year's best music game. Plus 5.1 Call of Duty headphones, video game comics, and the handheld games you need on your next trip. X-Play starts right now. Hello and welcome to day three of X Play's Holiday Buyer's Guide. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Morgan Webb. Today we'll be the ghost of Christmas future and show you everything that you need to buy. Coming up, we'll recommend some multi platform games that everyone can enjoy, regardless of what side they picked in this brutal console war. Plus, Blair Herder gives some love to comics, as he is known to do, specifically comics for Disney Epic Mickey and Ratchet and Clank, as well as some comic book themed games. Then, tie off that arm, tech junkies. We'll try out some new Call of Duty gear, a few controllers, and tell you if any of this stuff is worth more credit card debt. And if you're stuck on what music game to buy, climb down from the ledge. We have all the answers. Here's a sneak preview, not Power Gig. But first, what to buy on the PlayStation 3? Sony's final lineup kind of imploded, so we can't tell you to check out games like Little Big Planet 2 or the new SOCOM. Those are next year. But we can point you in the direction of some fantastic games from the rest of 2010. They feature angry gods, roided up athletes, and a kid named Jason. Jason! Jason! God of War 3 is an eye-gouging, heart-stopping, skull-stomping monster of a sequel. Everything that we loved about the gory epic series comes to a head in this satisfying payoff for the trilogy. The soothing sounds of Linda Hunt's narration, the monumental boss battle, and the sweet satisfaction of bloody revenge. My vengeance is now. All the elements come together to create a near-perfect sequel. New weapons and refined combat guarantee you'll be hooked from the opening scene to the closing credits. Heavy Rain is an interesting throwback to classic adventure games of yesteryear. Play as several characters who are trying to solve the mystery of a devious serial killer. The developers allow mundane sequences to breathe for a while, thereby setting the mood. Once you're lulled into the dreamlike atmosphere, you're thrown into shockingly sudden action set pieces. Give me what you got in the register. It's definitely not for everyone, but Heavy Rain is a noble, attention-worthy attempt at creating a new genre. I know what you're feeling. They Final Fantasy XIII may technically be available on the Xbox 360, but just think how jealous your PS3 would be if you knew you were cheating on it. Although the game has been criticized for being too linear, the Legendary series still provides that unique Final Fantasy flavor. Plus, you'll have plenty of time during your holiday break to pour into this 50-hour-plus game. But if bizarre Japanese RPGs aren't your thing, MLB The Show 10 may be the comforting slice of Americana you're looking for. This is one of the most realistic baseball experiences you can have without actually squeezing into ridiculously tight camps. The graphics and animation are stunningly detailed, and the online portion of the game can be as deep and rich as you could ever want. If you prefer to take a stroll down memory lane, there are two compilations you should stuff into your stocking. The Sly Collection is a PS3 reissue of all three Sly Cooper games. Uh, the famous Sly Cooper. These were some of our favorite platformers of last generation, and the third one is playable in true stereoscopic 3D. If you prefer your nostalgia a bit more bloody, God of War Collection packs in the first two games. The draw here is seeing the gory action remastered in high definition. The headings and dismemberment in true 720p? That's what the holiday season is all about. These days, it seems like the PSP is the Abe Vigoda of handhelds. It just won't die. Every time it seems like no one's making any new games, a great one drops into our laps. If Abe Vigoda managed to suddenly die after we taped this, we totally apologize for the awkwardness. Anyway, here's five great PSP games to take on the go. Don't think Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker is just some spin-off side story. This is a full-fledged entry in the series with the added bonus of four-player co-op. Play as Big Boss in 1970s Costa Rica and witness the creation of Outer Heaven, the setting for the original Metal Gear game. Kratos is back and is once again angry at Immortals. The gods lied to me! God of War Ghost of Sparta covers a previously untold chapter in Kratos' life, his conflict with his long-lost brother. This gives you a glimpse of Kratos' tenure as God of War following the death of Ares. And of course, there's a lot more stabbing. <laughs> Persona 3 Portable is a streamlined and expanded version of what was already one of the best JRPGs of recent years. 
Now you can play as male or female, and the world is much easier and quicker to navigate. You get your money's worth too, as a single full playthrough of Persona 3 can clock in at 80 hours, and it encourages replays. Bat Princess Fistful of Cake is an updated handheld version of last summer's PSN hit. It includes the original title in its entirety, adding double-stuffed multiplayer and brand new story sequences. Rescue your beloved princess through teamwork in this comic medieval battle royale. Old school action RPGers will want to snag Yeez 7, the latest installment in the venerable series. Fast hack and slash combat and a huge sprawling world to explore make this a hard one to put down and perfect for bite sized play sessions. Catchy soundtrack, too. Call of Duty Black Ops multiplayer isn't as simple as shoot whoever runs across the screen. You also have to be listening. With good surround sound, you can hear the footsteps of those dirty SOBs that want to knife you in the back. And with 5.1 headphones, you'll be doubly prepared. So this giant case. It's pretty large. This is the true 5.1 Call of Duty Black Ops official headset right here. People are very into their headsets for good reason because it's so much more immersive if you have a good headset. It's a little difficult to set up, but once you do have it set up, then you're good to go. Even if it wasn't a Call of Duty Black Ops headset, it's a really good investment. This is a great um, set of headphones. If these speak to you, then go for it. There's a lot of other options out there though, and there are a lot of wireless options that are at a very similar price point. But wait, there's more. If you want to make those headphones wireless, the Astro Wireless Mix Amp here, $130 price point. Not only does it make any headset wireless, but this is pretty cool. They actually it can support up to 7.1 surround sound. It is a little pricey, but if you already have invested in a quality pair of wired headphones, this will change that straight into wireless headphones. Thank you for making it small and yeah. not annoying or obnoxious looking for my living room. Thank you for sharing, Blair. You'll forgive my language here, but somebody's got to say this. Some video games are sluts. They're going to show up on any platform they can, looking to wring out every last dollar from the consumer, despite the fact that they look janky and busted. But not the games I'm about to show you, no, my friends. These multi-platform games are classy and respectable-like. They won't let you down, and they won't steal your wallet where you're in the can. Fallout New Vegas is not just a reskin Fallout 3, it's a tremendous content-packed follow-up to Fallouts 1 and 2. Everywhere you look, there's something new to do and or kill, and you can spend hours doing tons of stuff and never actually advancing the main story at all. Jump into the Mojave Wasteland and kiss your free time goodbye. Platinum Games delivers one of the best action games ever with Bayonetta. Don't let this silly oversexed main character fool you. This game is tough as nails but never feels cheap and offers the most fluid and satisfying combat in any game this generation. It's dripping with original art design and creative set piece sequences. Throw in some high replay value and a recently lowered price point and you have a definite winner. Super Street Fighter 4 adds new characters and rebalances the game to a great degree. Whether mashing buttons with your siblings or training for the EVO 2011 tournament, Super Street Fighter 4 can entertain all challengers. When the holiday parties are over, take the fight to the internet with incredibly smooth online play for some serious competition. If Gran Turismo 5's realism is too stodgy for your taste, try Need for Speed Hot Pursuit's blend of exotic car envy and car crash fetishism on for size. The makers of Burnout have revamped Need for Speed into a blistering action racer that captures the cat and mouse feel of the old Hot Pursuit games while making it feel new. Both cop and racer careers offer variety, and the autolog score tracking keeps you in competition with your friends even when you're not playing together. Red Dead Redemption is one of the best entries in the open world genre we've ever seen. John Marston's story is long and interesting, and he's actually a pretty likable guy. The game is a sprawling multiplayer free roam co-op competitive bonanza as well. Great writing and acting plus the unique, perfectly realized Old West setting makes this feel different from anything else out there. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood continues Ezio's story with more leaping, sneaking, and stabbing. There's just as much to do as in Assassin's Creed 2, and tons of new things to play with, like your very own Assassin's Guild. The multiplayer is a surprisingly great addition, with tons of new concepts you won't find in any other game. 
When X Play Holiday Buyer's Guide continues, Blair talks Ratchet and Clank comics, Scott Pilgrim games, and Peter Parker. These video game comic book crossovers are definitely worth a look. Plus, we'll help you empty your PlayStation wallet. In today's X List, we'll recommend five great games to download on the PlayStation Network. Then a special edition of Tech Junkie that'll help you figure out which PS3 controllers are worth a buy. And later, we'll help you with a make or break shopping decision. Which music game is worth your hard-earned cash? All that and more right after this. For all the latest news, reviews, and whatever else is happening in the gaming world, just follow Xplay on Twitter. Maybe we'll follow you back. Then you'll really be somebody. Xplay is coming to the tailgate tour at a city near you. Check g4tv.com slash xplay tour for even more tour dates. While my exterior may say strikingly handsome former MTV reality show contestant, my interior is a big, fat, obnoxious nerd. I love me some comic books, I love me some video games, and when these two things get mixed right, it's like heaven. Delicious Oreo flavored heaven. If you got a special geek in your life, here are some choice gifts. No self-respecting funny book fan should go without Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. It's one of the very few comic book adaptations that smoothly makes the transition to the video game format. The combat is very satisfying and the title has a strong sense of presentation that perfectly captures the feeling of the Spider-Man comics. It's out now for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. You want this tough guy? If you're a Ratchet and Clank fan who loves the series' colorful universe, you'll probably want to pick up the new comic tie-in. It's a six-issue miniseries that leads up to the release of next year's PS3 game, Ratchet & Clank All for One. That's not due out till the fall, so we're glad that there's something to tide us over. The comic is scripted by Ratchet & Clank future writer TJ Fixman, so the offbeat humor of the games is fully intact. Each issue is 32 pages and retails for $3.99. But if that's not your thing, we have a double-headed recommendation for fans of manga, video games, and hipster comedy. The Scott Pilgrim box set contains all six volumes of the indie comic. Each volume will run you $11.99, and the slipcase with collectible poster is an additional 10 bones. If that doesn't satisfy your desires, pick up Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game. It features a lovingly retro 8-bit look, robust controls, and an amazing soundtrack. It's out now on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live for about 10 bucks. Fans of Disney nostalgia will freak out over Epic Mickey for the Wii. This game was developed by the legendary designer Warren Spector, and it's probably the best thing coming out for the system this holiday season. We're also recommending the Disney Epic Mickey Digi Comics. This is available as an app for the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. Inside, there are six eight-page comics in total. The first one is free, and the rest of the bundle costs only $2.99. Enjoy. The PlayStation 3 might be lacking in disc-based games this holiday season, but there's plenty to buy online. We're counting down our top five PlayStation Network games in today's X list. Coming in at number five is Tales of Monkey Island. In this remake, you can travel back to the days of old-timey gaming, where there were things like good writing and jokes that worked. Number four is Tumble. This downloadable game is kind of like the PlayStation Moves version of Boom Blocks, but it only costs a fraction of the price. Coming in at number three is Death Spank. This action RPG has some hilarious moments. And what do you know? It's written by the same guy who did Monkey Island, Ron Gilbert. He needs to write more games. Our number two PlayStation Network game is Pixel Junk Shooter. It's not so much a shooter as it is a game about trapped miners that aren't Chilean. But our number one pick is Joe Danger. It's like Trials HD mixed with Excite Bike, but without the F-bomb levels of frustration. Buying a new controller is a tricky proposition. Do you stay loyal and buy the boring old standard, or do you get gutsy and buy something from a third party? These are the important decisions that will define your life. Thankfully, we're here to guide you through them. All right, guys, for all of you PS3 owners out there, we have three interesting controllers to check out. These first two are Nyko Ravens, and this one actually is more of an Xbox-style controller, which cracks me up a little bit. And then this one's more the PS3-style controller. 
So you can see on the Xbox controller that the analog sticks are actually offset like a more traditional Xbox controller. I know a lot of people complain about the analog sticks on the PlayStation. They'll say like, I don't wanna play a shooter on the PlayStation because of the analog sticks. Well, now they can stop complaining. This is obviously the more traditional PS3 controller. Uh, I like the, uh, the triggers here. I don't know why, they, they're, they're grippy as well. No, it feels sturdier, it feels like I'm accomplishing something more. Like when I'm shooting something in the face now, it feels better. A lot of the complaints I think with the, with the PlayStation controls, although they were light, they felt really cheap and you could break it at a moment's notice. I don't think you're gonna be able to break these. Like this is a really solid, well-made controller. Now this is a Call of Duty controller. It's pretty intense looking. Mm -hmm. It is. It's got a lot going on. We have some uh, extra buttons on the back so you can leave your thumbs on the analog sticks as much as possible and you have just a little bit of extra, you know, like, you know, this wasted fingers back here that now you're going to be able to yeah. use. Yeah, I mean, you can actually um, kind of like custom button mapping on these things, which is pretty neat. One of the things that we did have a problem with, though, is these triggers right here, you can tell that there's not a lot of surface area and they're kind of sticky. This lights up. Uh, which is cool. On the whole, I Yay. guess it's a pretty, pretty, pretty neat controller. If you're inspired by this, maybe you should go and try it at a store. But in general, I don't know if I would run out and buy this particular one as a gift. There you have it. Coming up, we're going to help you avoid one of the biggest landmines around and tell you what music games are worth buying. Trust me, you don't want to be stuck with a $200 turd. Actually, that'd be kind of awesome to sell on eBay. Plus, our slightly deranged staff recommends you some personal favorites. X-Play Holiday Buyer's Guide continues right after this. If you walk through the aisle of any retail store during the holiday season, you're bound to see huge stacks of music games, big boxes with peripherals like guitars, turntables, or microphones. And you might be tempted to buy one, but be careful. Big boxes mean big prices, and you do not want to end up with the next rock revolution. Stick to these titles. If you love video games and consider yourself quite the music aficionado, well, the year has been extremely good to you. 2010 has brought us a phenomenal variety of music games, and if you're looking to rock a party or learn how to be a music superstar, look no further. Here are a list of games guaranteed to satisfy anyone's Christmas wish list. First up is the king of all music games, Rock Band 3. With over 2,000 songs to play with, some new instruments to jam on, and the ability to actually teach you how to play music, this game is a must-buy for anyone, especially if you're an aspiring musician. Now, if you prefer your music to air on the side of Shred Heavy Riffs, don't worry, Guitar Hero 6 has got you covered. Complete with a ridiculously over-the-top story mode, it's the most polished game in the series yet. Also, at 120 decibels, we're pretty sure it can rupture the San Andreas Fault. Now that is metal. If beats are more your style, on the other hand, DJ Hero 2 can certainly fill the void. With its emphasis on making the mix your own, you too can revel in the bass-pounding journey that every vinyl maestro orchestrates on a nightly basis. Live go-go dancers not included. But what if you prefer more swagger and rhymes instead? Well, there's no better game than Def Jam Rap Star. You can test your lyrical skills against some of hip-hop's most classic and current hits. Rap solo, with a friend, or battle it out to prove who's the dopest MC. Finally, for those who love to move to the beat, Dance Central is the perfect game for you. You can groove along to an excellent set of songs as the connect accurately reads your moves. Best of all, it'll actually teach you a thing or two about dancing. Yeah, that's right. Second like dancing with the stars. Digging there, right? And there you have it. Our recommendations for music games. No, no, it's okay. Don't say anything. We know, we know. We'll just leave by saying you're welcome. Now run along and buy these games already. I'll be a superstar in no time flat. The people who work at G4 have to play some of the worst games of all time. They suffer through horse trainers, knockoffs, mini game collections. So when they say something's good, you should definitely believe them. My choice for Sony is the Sly Cooper collection because everyone should play those games. My pick is Heavy Rain. Why? Because there's nothing else out there like it. God of War 3 was just a great way to end the series. I'll miss you, Kratos. My pick is Yakuza 3 because it's a pretty cool story and it's, a, uh, it's an interesting take on the open world genre that you wouldn't get from a Western developer. Everybody on Earth should play Red Dead Redemption. It's one of the great triumphs in video game history. My holiday recommendation for the PlayStation 3 is Mario Galaxy 2. What's that? It's for the Wii? Come back to me. 
I would recommend that this holiday you pick up Mass Effect 2 because of the multiple interspecies romance options. And I'm a big fan of God of War 3, even though there could have been more boobs. Heavy Rain this year, definitely a title you should have checked out if you haven't already. It's a beautiful, really clever, dark, suspenseful story with a, some amazing gameplay. Def Jam Rap Star. So much fun. Biggie, P.E., Ice Cube, Slick Rick. Red Dead Redemption. The one thing I gotta recommend is getting Goonies on Blu-ray. It's a classic. You gotta get it. Hey, you guys! So if you have a PlayStation 3, highly recommend Mon Nation Racers. Uh, it's kind of like Little Big Planet on wheels. Adorable. Tons of customization. Hours of fun. If you're tired of being a solitary assassin, you can now recruit your own guild of assassins and make them do your dirty work for you in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Coming up on X-Play, James Bond, Donkey Kong, Mickey Mouse, and creepy AI pets. We've got reviews of all the fall's biggest games, including the latest from industry legend Warren Spector. Find out if the long-awaited Disney epic Mickey delivers the goods. Plus a 007 double feature. We've got brutally honest reviews of Bloodstone and the Wii remake of Goldeneye. Then we'll risk making fools of ourselves and interact with some virtual pets. We'll tell you if Connectimals actually works. And prepare yourself for a 2D throwback. We've got a review of Donkey Kong Country Returns, the first DK console game in five years. All that and more, don't miss it. Plus, we'll stay up all night with Halo Reach, which is probably something you'll stay up with rather than Connectimals. Yes, Connectimals is cute for <laughs> children. Thanks for watching.